as you probably have seen in the publicity and the instructions for this webinar, the description of this webinar, I have divided this um, presentation in four steps. Um, as you can see, step number one is dedicated to clinical trial terminology. Um, the second one is, to, is to dedicated to immunotherapy, genetics and cancer. The third one is um, about pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. And the fourth one is about infectious diseases, more or less. Um, maybe you wonder why did I this? How did I decide to make these four steps? But why these four steps? Um, they came up from my experience. Um, if you if you allow me to give you to provide a very general advice about this world of CPD and translation and conferences and people teaching others how to translate, I would. I would Advice, I would advise always to look for teachers who are active translators. Of course that those who are not active translators have a lot to teach us because they know the theory and they know everything about the grammar and the concepts and the philosophy of medical translation. But when you want to learn how to translate, how to face the continuous challenges of immunology, pharmacodynamics, genetics, cancer, for a translator, which probably has not a very deep medical background, you need the guidance of uh, an active medical translator. And I'm so, <laughs> please forgive me for saying that, I am one of those. I translated this morning, I will not translate tomorrow because of particular circumstances, but I will translate shortly again every single day and I've been translating uh, for 35 years nearly almost every day nearly almost every day and um, uh, because of that um, when translating I was thinking this is an, a problem for translators this may be a problem for translators first of all I came to step one um, maybe a problem for translators is the changes in the clinical trial terminology and that was the first step. Afterwards, I came to translation term, terms uh, about immunology, genetics, and cancer. And um, I decided that although it's only step two, and it seems just a, a part of this webinar, I will really dedicate a lot of time to do this step two, because clearly it's challenging, it's important and very difficult, unless you are a specialist in, in that area. Then I came, as it usually happens, to the problem with pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. You know it's almost in every translation you do on medical text. It's always there and we will dedicate a few minutes, just a few minutes, to talk about it and, and solve the main problems it can present to a, a medical translator. And at the end, um, probably in a few minutes, that depends on the, the rhythm of the general webinar, I, will, I would like to present you a few problems with the translation of infectious diseases, particularly about Zika, Ebola, HIV, and hepatitis, you know, vir virus disease, viral diseases probably, and anti antibiotics. <laughs> 